Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Boba7772, and today I'm here to show you my review on the new Star Wars The Clone Wars action figure of Castus on his speeder bike. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so far I've found this figure at two locations. I haven't been searching Walmarts much, so he could be there, I just don't know about it. But I found him at Toys R Us for 20 bucks. I was like, eh, I'll wait till he comes to Target if he does, or Walmart or something, and get him there since it's cheaper. Well, on my shopping spree to Target, which you may have seen in my haul video, I found him. So I was like, yeah, I'm not passing this guy up. So I decided to get him, and uh, yeah, there we are. So uh, the packaging is new from the Deluxe Wave. I mean, they still have the other packaging from the Deluxe Wave, which is new, like the Toys R Us exclusive Geonosian and the Toys R Us exclusive uh, Rubble Transport. But this is new, and it looks really nice. It doesn't come with the uh, Clone Wars Adventure stuff, but hey, who cares? Um, so, there's a good picture of Cassius riding his speeder bike. There's a good, really cool picture of Cassius on the side here. And here's the back of the box. Um, I will read the description first. It says, Cassius pilots a speeder bike to hunt down his prey. The speeder bike is fast and lightweight, a suitable vehicle for bounty hunters to chase anyone fleeing from captor, capture. Bounty hunters like Castus prefer these bikes for their front-mounted blasters and hidden side blasters. Uh, yeah, so I'm assuming they didn't have all these features in the TV show and pretty much just added them for play value, but... Still, it looks cool. The other figures I've been showing in the wave are the uh, Republic Scout Speeder with ARF Trooper. The other one I really want to get from this. The other two I don't really care much about. Uh, the Attack Cycle with General Grievous. I kind of want that, but I'm going to wait. Maybe it'll go down on sale. And last but not least, the Separatist Droid Speeder with Battle Droid. Um, I kind of want that. It looks pretty cool, but... Uh, I will get it only if it's on sale or for a present or something, or if I have, like, leftover money after getting some more figures. But yeah, so far this looks really cool. Um, so let me open them up and get to the review. Okay, this is uh, quite easy to open if you just take the tape off of the side open the side part. Yeah, there's three pieces of tape, actually. <laughs> the, uh, on the top, the back, and the side. So once you get these three pieces off, it should be fairly simple to open without ripping the packaging if you want to keep the packaging. If you don't want to keep the packaging, just go ahead and rip it all off. But, uh, yeah, it has a nice background, so I'm wanting to keep this. Oh, hey, look, not a nice background on the actual packaging. Should have just torn it. Okay, so here's the packaging without the figure. And now I will... Here is what the background looks like. Really cool. I'll, I'll display the figure on that once I get him out. Okay, so um, he comes with a galactic battle card, which is tied in those little strappy band things. Two of them. Behind that is his Galactic Battle stand. Above that is his uh, Galactic Battle dice. And then you have the speeder bike, which is also tied down by t those twisty tie things. Which I see the reason of doing that, so like it would uh, hold it in there better for if you wanted to keep it in the box, and so people won't steal it. So uh, yeah, kudos, Hasbro. Uh, I know it may annoy people, but I really don't care. I can feel some fizz in here. And here's the last electric band. Okay. And still doesn't want to come out. Okay, got him out. Okay, now I will show this and start getting the uh, display set up. So we have the speeder bike, which is really nice. I think I will go over that first. And then I will go over the uh, figure itself, since that's always my favorite part of the pack. I 
the only vehicles I really like are the ones that I buy uh, the actual vehicles themselves for the pack, uh, not for the figures. Okay, uh, get Cassis on his stand here so you can look at him while I review the speeder bike. Okay, the speeder bike, uh, pretty much, let's see here, we have, okay, we have these, uh, things on the side, like, that you can pull, uh, forward and backwards, and a gun comes out. They may be a little stuck, so you may want to play with them at first. Put those back in. Okay, let's see the other features this thing has. Okay, it looks like it has a stand to stand up at the bottom. And I think that's all it goes out. Uh, that sh doesn't seem right, though, because it doesn't stand that well. But I don't want to break it, or I don't want to break it on camera. Huh. Okie dokie, then. It doesn't look like there are any more stands, so that's a bit odd. Huh, the speeder bike is a bit odd. Okay. So pretty much just this like that. I know, pretty odd. Uh, it, w it won't even sit normal. I think that it's better even without the stand, unless I'm doing it wrong. But yeah, I think it looks a lot better like that. So, the handlebars also move, and it has foot pegs on the pedal. And detail, it has some arabesque right in on the front. Uh, camera's not, is kind of blurry, so may not be able to read it. If anybody else has a set and can translate that, that'd be really cool. Um, so yeah, we will put the speeder bike back now and do the figure. My favorite part of this set. Okay, so, uh, before, okay, sorry to contradict myself again, but right before we move on to the figure, I'll show you the other accessories. So as you can see, he's standing on the stand, so he comes with that. He came with his galactic battle card, which looks a bit, uh, scratched and, t uh, bent for some reason. I don't know, it may just be the, uh, design of the card. And it also comes with a galactic battle dice, which is really nice, uh, for the game. I really like these dice, I have a bag of like a hundred of them now. <laughs> so the figure, uh, the articulation on him, he has a ball-jointed head that rotates around 360 degrees. Uh, shoulders rotate around 360 degrees, very smoothly, actually, and move outward. Uh, elbows rotate around 360 degrees and bend down. Hands rotate around 360 degrees. <clears throat> the waist rotates around 360 degrees as well. The legs rotate around 360 degrees and can also bend out like the ARF Trooper. I really like that, just not on the ARF Trooper. <laughs> the knees can bend backward and can also rotate around 360 degrees. And no articulation on the foot. Okay, so this figure is very uh, cool. It's a very nice figure. So far, they've added great articulation to him. I really especially like the leg articulation. The only bad part, and I won't even count off for this in my uh, rating because it really doesn't stop this uh, thing at all from being good. Uh, the ankle articulation. But aside from that, it's really cool. Uh, the figure looks great, first thing. Yeah, pretty trend ocean. Fat and ugly is more like it. One-eyed, like Evan Peel. Uh, got a couple emblems. He has a really nice outfit with uh, two guessing ammo pouches, grenade pouches. He has an emblem on his chest. And... That's pretty much it for detail. Uh, he, let's see, his fing he has two fingers and a thumb on each hand. And he has his head. So the head, I think, is really nice. Because, like, it has, his, you can see his teeth on it. Which is really cool. And one eye is either closed or he doesn't have that eye. I forgot uh, during the series. Let's look on the packaging. Yeah, it doesn't really show... So, uh, not really sure, but the figure looks nice either way. So, yeah, for this set, uh, it retails for approximately, uh, $17.99 at Target and approximately $19.99 at Toys R Us. 
I would probably rate this set a 5 out of 5. Um, not going to complain about the price, because if you buy something, you can't really complain about the price of it if you're willing to spend the money. <clears throat> Even though it was still a bit expensive, uh, it's... I'm not taking any out for that. I'm just letting you guys know. And also, uh, this, yeah, 5 out of 5. This figure is really good. Uh, complete new mold for everything, I believe. Uh, the joints make him, his arms and all of the articulation on him move very smoothly. The speeder bike's the only thing I don't like in this set, but I didn't buy it for the speeder bike, so there's no problem with that. If you buy it for the speeder bike, it's it's not worth it. There may be some more stuff on here I forgot to say, uh, but otherwise, I, I honestly do not think this bike is worth it. Uh, but the figure itself is definitely worth it. If you're watching this, uh, you know, and they haven't announced actually a single carded figure for Cassis, I would get it. Uh, this set, definitely, because this is a very cool set. Uh, Cassis is a very cool figure. I didn't like his character, but the figure's cool. And if they do eventually come out with a single carded figure of him, which I highly doubt they will, but it'd still be cool, uh, I would recommend getting those. I may even get a few of them if they do that, because I really like trying those. So yeah, if you find him and want to get every Clone Wars figure, uh, get him. If you want to get all the deluxe packs, get him. And if you're looking for either Bounty Hunter collections, Trend Ocean collections, or figures with uh, good articulation and or paint, good paint jobs on them, then I would recommend getting this, because this fits pretty much all those categories. So that's pretty much it for this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, do that new tool that you say something good, like this video is awesome, uh, it's by the comment thing, I think. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.